Time for most of us is an experience of being trapped in an endless series of events that never appear to arrive at where we want to go. Yet this is just an illusion that can drop away, revealing the timelessness that is this as it is already. Welcome to Letting Go and the Greatest Secret, where we explore the end of your suffering and the beginning of lasting happiness. I'm Hale Dwoskin. Normally, a featured guest joins me for a conversation to share insights into living a life of deep joy and unshakable peace. Every now and then, it's just you and me, and today is one of those episodes. Do you often feel trapped by time? Sometimes it feels like you're killing time or it's boring because there's so much time. But for most of us, we live in scarcity around time. We never seem to have enough time to accomplish whatever it is we like to do. Yet also, there is this sense of being bound by time. Even in this moment, whatever is happening, often we're rushing through it to get to somewhere else. It could be simple things like an appointment, but it could be just our whole life. You've probably heard the expression, life is what happens while we're waiting for what we want to happen. Actually, I don't know if that's an exact uh, quote, but that's actually how we experience it. We're so lost in the apparent flow of time that we miss the fact that the only time that is, is not real at all. There is just what's apparently happening. And happening happens actually out of time. Well, you may be thinking, well, what about the past and the future? Well, the past is what's happening now when we think about it or when we remember something about the past. The future is also what's apparently happening when we're thinking about or imagining a better future, or a worse future often. (laughs) Yet this linear sense of time is more psychological than we realize. Of course, there's clock time that has to do with appointments and events and planning and everything else that's necessary for life. However, the time that most of us live in has been squished into clock time. And we're not, we're, we're missing horizontal. I mean, vertical, horizontal. I get them confused sometimes. We're missing that time isn't really horizontal. It's vertical. It is just this. And this is actually out of time. It's already whole and complete and enough as it is. It is already beingness or boundlessness. And as this is recognized, everything associated with psychological time tends to drop away. On a feeling level, it feels like we have all the time in the world. But in actuality, nothing actually changes because this is already how it is. There is just this, this beauty, this aliveness, this one energy that includes everything and nothing. 
So let's explore that together. In this moment, even though there aren't individual moments of time, could you notice that which is already timeless, that which is already at rest, that which is already wholeness and freedom. Just do that as best you can. And then could you allow yourself to review the past, what you call your life? And by the way, what if it's not your life? It's just life itself. But for most of us, we experience it as our life happening in time. In fact, when we think of our life, we're looking back at what was and ignoring that which is already. So as you focus on the past, see if there's anything about the past that still feels like it pulls at you. The pulling could be based on a memory of something good that happened or something bad that happened, even though good and bad are completely artificial. But either way, we can get lost in focusing on something we're wanting to not have happen again or something we want to have happen again. And whatever's come to mind, could you just welcome it or allow it? Is it welcomed? Is that memory what's apparently happening? And then could you welcome as well or allow as well any wanting to fix it or change it or control it or understand it or do something with or about it? Is that welcomed? Is that what's apparently happening? And then could you welcome to any sense of ownership, any sense that it's about you or who you are? Is that welcomed? Is that too what's apparently happening? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to change what was or control what might be? Just could you? Would you? When? And then could you be open at least to the possibility that the only thing real about the memory, if it's real at all, is just what's apparently being remembered. It doesn't actually signify real time. What is this? What is, is timeless. And then again, allow yourself to focus on that same thing or anything else from the apparent past that you're still wanting to change or control. 
that you're hoping either never happens again or hope, and hope it happens again soon. <laughs> and could you just welcome it? Allow it. Notice it. Is that what's apparently happening? And could you welcome as well the wanting to do anything with or about it? The wanting to change or control it? Is that allowed? Is that too what's apparently happening? And is there any sense that any of that is about you or who you are? Is there any sense of ownership around that? And if so, is that welcomed? Is that allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And if there's still any wanting to change the past or control the future, could you just welcome it? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to change the past or control the future? And is it possible that this, this that actually is, is timeless? What if the appearance of time is also just this, as it is? What if, just what if, You've never been bound by time. What if all is actually timeless? And then again, could you allow yourself to review anything about the past that you'd like to change? and anything you're anticipating about the future that you'd like to control. And whatever's come to mind, is it welcomed? Is it allowed? Is it what's apparently happening? And then could you welcome or allow that sense of wanting to change it or wanting to control it. That sense that it needs to be fixed or changed. Is that welcomed? Is that allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And then is there too any sense that any of that is personal about you or who you are? If so, is that welcomed? Is that allowed? Is that just an appearance? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to control the future and change the past? And be open 
at least as best you can. To this, which is already timelessness, already wholeness, already enough as it is. Okay, good. So you may want to focus on this a few more times and see what happens. And just stay open at least to the possibility that you are not a person trapped in linear time. There is something that is beyond time that is actually the most obvious thing here and now, and even beyond the sense of here and now. And it just so happens <laughs> in linear time, this is our hundredth episode. So I just wanted to thank everyone who's been listening or watching these. It has been a wonderful journey <laughs> to this as these episodes have happened. I've gotten to meet amazing people and I've gotten to relate to, to you and support you. And so, happy 100th anniversary, <laughs> even though there is no time. I hope you enjoyed our time together. We'll do special ones like this every now and then. And of course, we'll have plenty of featured guests to share their wisdom and insights with you. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe so you have immediate access to future episodes. Please give us a five-star rating and share it with the people you care about. These episodes are dedicated to sharing the eternal teachings from the greatest secret and the power of letting go. If you'd like to learn more about my work, my mentors, Lester Levinson's work, and the Sedona Method, please visit www.sedona.com. As you explore our site, you'll learn the key to lasting happiness, success, peace, and emotional well-being. We have books, courses, events, and plenty of free material to explore. Again, go to Sedona.com. That's S-E-D-O-N-A.com. Thank you for being here, and we'll catch you in the next episode of Letting Go and the Greatest Secret. <laughs>